we changed. must we mustn't just yeah. talk about the failings of Arsenal if that in indeed was the case. We have to talk about how well Bradford City played last night. And although he uh, was on the substitutes bench last night, Ricky Ravenhill is the captain of the Bradford team. He's the club captain. I'm delighted to say he's on the line now. Hello, Ricky. Hello. Hi. Can you hear us all right? Yes, yeah, about yeah. Brilliant. So, what was that night like for you? Yeah, it was unbelievable. It's one of those one-off nights that you obviously dream about playing in, and, uh, and it came around for Bradford last night. And I think all the players and fans and everyone associated with the club had a great night. When uh, when Arsenal equalised, did you think, well, our, our chance has gone now? So, you, you sort of thought that was the way it was going to go. So we, we hung on and we, we played well to start and then hung on. And when they got the equaliser, you know, you thought maybe they're going to turn the screw here. But fair so, so play to the lads, we dug in. We did exactly what we carried on, what we started the game doing. And I thought it was already deserved the draw. Um, what's the secret to your penalty success? I think it's just a matter of being brave enough to stand up there and not being scared to miss. I think if you think about it too much and start changing your mind, it's... You just got to step up there and go and take the penalty and what will be will be and that's the attitude we have towards it and it's paid off for us. It's amazing. You have nine penalty shootout successes in a row, the most successful in English football and more good news today because you've been reinstated into the FA Cup. You're going to play Brentford. Yeah, so the quadruple's still on. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Ricky, um, all your players played to the maximum last night, which you had to do obviously to get yourself the brilliant result. But I've got to ask you about uh, Naki Wells. Does he play that well week in, week out? Because I thought he was absolutely outstanding. He ran Vermaelen and Mertesacker uh, racket for the 76 minutes that he was on. Yeah, the boy's the boy a natural talent. He's, um, he's got a bag of ability. And he's, still, he's still learning. You see him day in, day out doing stuff. And he's still learning and progressing. But he's got a fantastic engine. He's got a fantastic brain. And I'm, I'm sure he can go a lot further in the game. Ricky, uh, I'm an I'm an attendances freak. Uh, when I look at, I don't look at the scores. I just look at the crowds <laughs> up and down the country every uh, Sunday morning. And one thing I've noticed about your club is it doesn't matter if when you're going through a bad patch and you're in the about as lo low as you can get in the league. Like, was it last season or the season? I can't remember. Last where. night was their biggest attendance since yeah, 1916. Yeah, but, but what Still I'm saying, what I'm saying is they? that last night's attendance. It doesn't really matter. It's the fact that you get 10,000 people at every game, regardless of uh, results. And I must say, I thought of those guys last night. Um, was there a sense among the lads as well, you know, of going out and saying, right, we're going to pay them back? Definitely, yeah. It's, um, the fans have been absolutely outstanding, like you said. And obviously the clubs have been on a bit of a downturn over the last few years. And the fans have stayed there for that 10,000 have been there regardless, and it's um, credit to them. And it's about time that we started paying them back. And hopefully, this season is what we're trying to do with games like last night and the uh, league form. It's what we want to do for, for them that we can give them a good team. Ricky, before the game, would, did you get any sense of apprehension from the Arsenal players? Because sometimes, as a player, you can actually look at the opposition and think, do you know what, if we can get about these first 10, 15 minutes and, and play at a high tempo on something we're playing, they might not fancy it tonight. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, coming into the smaller dressing rooms, and I think a few of them weren't happy with the pitch conditions, so they were getting a little bit hard and frosty. So, yeah, you, you sense it that they weren't quite happy, and we knew that if we, we could play to our maximum, then we had a, we had a little sneak of getting a result against them. Who, uh, who do you want in the semi finals, Ricky? Uh, to be honest, personally, I, I'd like to have Leeds. <laughs> I think it'd be fantastic for the fans to get two legs against Leeds United. Good start I... between. I think it would be absolutely the thing that all Leeds fans would like, and I think I can speak with authority. Ricky, congratulations, well done, and uh, good luck in the semi, as they say. Thank you very much, Jeff.